Okay, do we have some? Welcome to this channel. My name is Martin and I photograph stuff and you can learn a lot about lighting and other things on this channel. Today I have these two old buddies Dior and Armani bottles of perfume. I've been shooting them before. Um, you, you know, these are quite expensive so I cannot run out and buy new ones all the time. But we use these two in a bit different way today because today we will not use any strobes, monolights, flashes, you know, this stuff, this heavy stuff we normally use. Today, today, we will use this guy. This is a Soonwell Magic Tube MT1. This is a LED tube light. Normally they are used in video productions. You know, they have these different colors. You can have it in like uh, sunlight, daylight, 5600 Kelvin, and they can be a bit colder and warmer. But also they have this RGB mode, so you can have any color you want. You know, you can, you know, anything, any kind of color. And they are really bright and also they are waterproof. You can throw them in water. These guys also have um, like effect mode, like you saw in the beginning, like uh, party mode. Like when I have this one. If you're having a party and then you just place them in the room and then you are good to go, you know. And they also have cop car. Oh my God. They're here. Hide. This mode we will use today because we are photographers, still photographers, still life. And uh, I want to use, this is Ke what Kelvin, 6500 Kelvin. It's like daylight. You know, they're very small light sources and you can stick them in places <laughs> when you, where you're normally having problem with a big flash, you know. So we will try to do something nice with these guys. And they come in this really nice bag. Soon, well, they, they send me this. They want me to try these guys out. And um, yeah, but they, you know, I'm not really sponsored or anything. It's, uh, I wasn't paid, you know. So I have two of them. I think we might use both of them. We'll see. And you also have this uh, thing that you can stick them together like this. So they become, you can pile them as many as you like. And also, they are magnetiska. That's nice. So we will use these guys. And what do we have here today? Well, we're in Capture One. I'm shooting with my 5D Mark IV and with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens with a USB cable going into the computer so you can see what I'm doing. And I have a simple setup here. Uh, we can start with this one. I was thinking we can try both, see which one we like the best. And I will place it inside here. It's just two lac shelves from IKEA and also this lac table from IKEA. They're great to use for this kind of stuff. You know, I use them for so many things. I'm telling you all the time, go and buy them. They cost nothing, almost. We will place this in the foreground, the perfume, and then I will have the camera very close today. I will have it like here. So we get this uh, powerful hero shot, you know, and also, I have this uh, smoke machine. We can turn it on. It's a, it's a very simple smoke machine. I bought it just outside here in a store called Cello Company for you Swedes. But you can find them ev everywhere. And uh, you can also use these vapors, you know, 
but you can buy a smoke machine simple one i think this is like i want this light to be behind here maybe something like this oh my god this is bright now i have placed these shelves a bit like you know so it's like a corridor okay now we have live view now it's not perfectly straight i see but i only have this small wacom pen stand under it but it's not it's not the end of the world maybe i can zoom out a bit maybe something like this i like that we have this light play there and it becomes so beautiful with this led tube that makes this beautiful highlight inside the perfume bottle okay now we have the composition and let's take a shot and there we have the shot you know right now we have uh, iso 100 lowest get the best quality no noise and we can really do that because it's very powerful light you know and we have aperture 2.8 because i only want the bottle to be sharp and then i want the sharpness to fall off short depth of field but we can go up if you like to have if you have like a bigger product and you really want the edges also to be sharp on this perfume the whole product in focus then we just change the aperture if you look at the aperture now it's like I, maybe i can go up to 5.6 or something and then i click one two three four five six six clicks and then it's very simple just to take down the shutter speed six clicks one two three four five six and uh, now it will be exactly the same exposure like before but with bigger depth of field and we can take a shot to see if I'm lying or not. It should be exactly the same photo, yes, but it's more in focus. The edges will be sharper, you know. So that's a simple trick, you know. If you click, you want more depth of field, you click from 2.8 up to 5.6, six clicks. And then you just take the shutter speed, dial it the other way, six clicks. I'm happy with this, but I think the front of the perfume bottle, it's a bit dark. We can leave it like this, but now we happen to have one more. We can add a bit of light for this, this small, uh, tiny chain around the neck and it will sparkle up a bit. We can try. We can try. I'm just thinking maybe just a tiny bit on the neck there and there is some cool light going on inside the bottle i wonder if this if we can use this or with without hmm it's always these decisions you have to make spontaneously i love this smooth and soft and beautiful but at the same time the neck is totally black so I, I really would like to have something on the neck there because now it becomes like three-dimensional you know from dark to bright to dark and bright a bit here too get like a sharp edge and a bit of gradient there as always in stay life and product photography we can always take different parts from different pictures this I would take for the neck but maybe i don't like the bottle well then i just take the other shot and we do a composite two layers in photoshop you know putting on a layer mask and then we just mask in the neck light now i think we should try the, the smoke <laughs> we cannot have too much oh my god it's so powerful this smoke machine Probably it's better with this vapors because you can blow it out very carefully and then you might get a better result. Yes, probably we can use one of those. And now, but now we have something. 
and we can combine two and we will get the beautiful shot. So, should we try the other one? I don't know how we should place this, but probably should be, we need a bit more space here. Let's see what we have now with the Armani one. Live view, ooh, this is nice. Can I go closer? Can I zoom in maybe? Maybe we should not have the dark wall on the right side for this one. So I will zoom in a bit. Take a shot, that's nice. I love this crispy part. And we need the smoke again, of course, but we can also add this light, I think, because the front is very, very dark again. So let's see, let's turn on live view. Here we get a bit and a bit there. This is quite thin, so we will not get this. We need to have it super close if you want to have a, th a thicker, you know, and we can do a separate shot for this actually, if you want. But for now, <laughs> for now, I just want to place this somewhere so we will get a bit of shine down on this part. Take a shot and then we try some smoke again. Yes, this is crazy. And also, you see, in the back here, the smoke makes this light. I'm not so sure. But you can always take the first one. Oops. The bottle crashed. The bottle crashed. But maybe that's a sign that we should do something else. Show a bit of the side there instead. Hopefully it will not fall. Don't fall! And now, you see, the, the logo becomes white, as it is, because I'm adding this light. You know, sometimes when you just change something, and then it becomes nicer, or worse. Mm -hmm. And let's add some smoke. Let's take a look, see what we got. I really like when the smoke is over on the dark part here. I saw one. That one is nice, I think. If you have the tube in the same angle as the bottle and then you twist it, you will get a gradient, you know, hard edge to gradient. See there? And that is kind of nice to add. Now I can take only this part and add in hard edge, show that it's glossy, and then it fades off. I think that's nice. You know, you can experiment forever. Try different things. Move the lights. You have the main light, and then you can build up the shot in different layers, you know. Okay, guys. That was a lot of fun. Let's see if I can come up with something nice from these photos. Um, there will be some combinations a lot of smoke and if it's a good looking smoke shot but the bottle is not nice then I would just take a shot without the smoke and put it on a separate layer and mask in the bottle you know that's how we do it so thank you so much for watching and thank you coffee supporters who are supporting this channel thank you so much and thanks to all you other guys who's watching and subscribing. It's helping a lot, you know. Thank you so much. And as always, I will see you next time.